What's good? Psychopath Dev back again for another first listen. Y'all know it is right here. All right. Uh, yeah, we, we continuing the week on. We c- continuing strong with the week. A lot of people, uh, well, not a lot of people. Some people said I was trying to show off my tattoos, which I don't fucking understand because nigga, oh my god, please, nigga. But anyways, all right. So I'm finding creative ways to hide my tattoos from y'all. So this is my next creative wave right here. All right, we gonna go psychopath dev right here, like I'm in a motherfucking penitentiary. All right, but today we got new track. Me goes. As y'all know, man, I was on vacation this last week. And whenever Dev goes on vacation, there's always a new fire track that comes out. Our album. We got J. Cole. We got CN Green, Nicki Minaj. We got D- Me goes. Who else? I think somebody else also dropped this last Friday. And I was out of town for all of it. So it's kind of crazy when you think about it, man, how I, this, keep, this keeps happening to me. It's not like I'm, you know, doing this shit on purpose. My, You guys can see my trips are planned out months in advance. And for some reason, it just keeps happening how it's happening. Anyways, um, the Migos are back. They also announced Culture 3 will be released in July, which I think is very amazing, man. Um, you know, they all been booed up. They all been doing their thing. They all been kind of taking a break. But it's happy to see the three back, the three Amigos coming back to make a Culture album. I think that's something that we all w- will want for the summer, you know, July, uh, well, June. And actually, damn, next week, next month is June. They said July comes out. So we actually got a month and a half until Culture two, uh, Culture 3 comes out, So which is not bad still. It's still middle of the summer. And I feel like with Corona kind of opening up uh, or ending and everything starting to open back up, I think it's going to be kind of crazy um, this summer for these albums. Um, so straightening, I think they released a snippet. Uh, a lot of you guys said they released a snippet a couple days ago or weeks ago or a week ago sorry okay it's kind of hard when i'm like you know i'm I'm bundled up and shit you know i feel retarded as hell but um a week ago they released a snippet i did not listen to the snippet yet but um hopefully it's nothing but fire we'll see so that being said man like always been asmr fucking talking too much man we got a straightening by the migos (laughs) we gone Oh shit, we might we might have something right here. Hold on. Eh? Well, we might have something right here. Hold, hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Be patient. Damn. Damn. Niggas act like the game went vacant. Damn. Niggas act like something been taken. Damn. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straight up. Hey, that boy that boy Migo. Hey, that boy Quavo. Fuck the Not saying fuck the Migo, but fuck the Migos right now. Quavo. The man broke up with Sweetie, man. He got some to get some shit off his fucking chest. He got to get some shit off his chest. All right? No pun intended right here. He got to get some shit off his chest. She said to reset it when Richard Mill prone. Turn a pandemic into a pandemic. You know that's the shit that we own. Oh, that's a playlist. Oh, that's a fucking playlist. I don't even need to hear the rest of the song. I don't even need to hear the rest of the song. That's a Miam the Panda right there. I don't even need to hear the rest of the song. That's fire. That is some Migo. If Culture 3 going to be like that... You about to hear the train coming, cause it's fire. But we gonna have some. Can we run that shit back? We done seen Tenant. <laughs> hey, that's a bar right there, cause for the first half of Tenant, bro, I don't know if y'all saw the movie yet, but a nigga was confused as shit. I'm watching Tenant. I was like, Yo, are these niggas going backwards or forwards? Are are they walking forward backwards? Is it going forward, but in backwards? But what the fuck is going on here? That shit was so confusing. But at the, by, by the end of the movie, you kind of understood it, and it was kind of cool. But that, that that's a that's a bar right there. Take off. Who produced this? Cause whoever produced this, they need to have him on at least seven culture tracks. He need to be on at least seven culture tracks. Dead serious. I'm proud of that nigga. We are proud of Offset. Is this a new age of Offset? Maybe Culture 3 about to be fire. Alright, we ain't here. One Pataki, Pataki, Helga G Pataki. I have not said that in forever. We gotta make that merch soon. But I have not heard him at one point. Say that line. That's crazy. 
I think that's actually insane. That he did not say one patek line in this. That's growth. And that's all you can ask for from an artist is growth. I think that this already the fact that motherfucker Quavo came in, ate this motherfucker shit up. Like it was like it was like he had no more bars left. Like he had his rap career was on the line. Quavo came and brought that shit. And then for offset not to say anything that relates to Patiki, it's a cl- this is gonna be a classic. Okay. Hey, hey. I think that man, that was an amazing track. Um, I am definitely now excited for Culture Three. I think that after hearing that track, I am I have high hopes for Culture Three. I know a lot of people said that Migos fell off. I just think that they're they're you know they did what they needed to do and they haven't made an album in a while. They haven't made music together. They all did a solo thing. I remember we all remember the solo shit they did. Take off. I'm glad. This is the one thing I am glad about. I'm glad that they were all able. I know their family. Um, you know their family. So. For them to at least all try out the solo shit, but understand that Migos will always be Migos, no pun intended, I think that's something special and that we should not overlook. They all did their own solo album. Takeoff did the last rocket or the last memory, and then Quavo did his shit. Gotta say, worst album I've heard in a while. Only two tracks from there I really liked. And then Offset with his solo shit, that shit was fire. Tats on my face. Yeah, I thought tats in my face. I thought also that Offset's project was just more produced. It was produced well, all right? And I feel like that was all missing for both Quavo and for, um, you know, uh, Takeoff's album. But that's a whole other topic if we had to talk about it. But I think that now for them to do that, get their own, you know, success, experience, whatever you want to call it, in that um, solo world, and then still be able to be like, you know what? There's no ego. We all love at the end of the day. Something that we just had to do for ourselves and now come together. You know, I thought that that was something amazing. Now they're going to do Culture 3. Look at somebody like Outkast. Look at somebody like the Joe Budden Podcast. Look at somebody like um, a group like, I'm trying to think of another group that kind of broke up and did their own. 3-6 three, uh, three, Mafia. Um, you know, look at that. You know, like, it's just crazy how it's hard to keep groups together. I think people don't really realize. Look at NSYNC. You know, like, ugh. Justin Timberlake did his own thing. You know, there's a lot of, it's been a lot of groups that Destiny's Child, look at Beyonce, you know, so look, it's a lot of groups that were together and it was hard to keep them together, or even, even come back for like a duo album or, or an album or not even an album, just for, for a concert. It's hard to get the group back and whatever. And now I think that looking at the Migos and seeing how the bond is strong between them. I got to respect it. And just for that, I'm going to listen to Culture 3. So straightening, very fire single, man. I cannot wait for the album. This is going to be something special. If it sounds something like that, that is going to be some shit. All right. That is going to be some motherfucking shit for the summer. All right. Summer bops all over the place. That being said, though, man, get the call box below, man. Let me know all the good stuff. I'm assuming you're here. Uh, 3,000 likes, man. Good find it on the wall. If you want to watch the full video, it will be put on Patreon. All right. Um, if you don't want the cut-up version, you want to complain about the cut-up version that has I've been doing this on YouTube for five years. If you're now complaining about the cut-up version because you know that there's a full version out there, please don't be mad about that or try to use that against me saying, like, oh, is there more cut-up than usual? Like, no. All right. <laughs> they the algorithm change, times change. Um, you know, and, and you, sometimes you guys just do something different. So that being said, man, in the comments below, man, all good stuff from should be here. And until the next time, man, we're out. Peace.